Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Nastasia and wow, there were a lot of questions. <laughs> In I have three Law of Attraction videos about how I do not agree with the Law of Attraction and I actually think it is very dangerous. Um, amongst the hate comments were some really good love comments and then a ton of questions. So many questions of you guys asking me like, but is this okay? Is this okay? Is this okay? Um, which I understand like, and I appreciate because you guys, you know, you want to make sure you are abiding by God and um, the scripture and you don't want to be doing things that are not of him. I commend you for that. I think that's very wise of you to do. Um, and so the biggest questions that I got from those videos, oh man, um, the biggest one by far, a lot of you want to know about subliminal messaging and listening to subliminals. Um, that was so many of your concerns. Um, that one and then meditation um, and yoga was another one um, and just just things like that that you guys are really like wait but what about this and this and this because new age promotes this stuff and so I totally understand. I'm not going to unpack everything today just because I think it would be a really long video and I want to make several videos about these things so that if there's something in particular you're looking for you can just watch that video. Before I get into it, if you end up liking this video give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on a video every time I post my Instagram's right here. I don't have anything to say about it, my Instagram's right here. <laughs> um, so you can check me out there and let's get into it. This is a big topic. So I started researching subliminals first because that was so many of your concern. I know I said that earlier, but like I can't emphasize enough how many of you wanted to know about this. Um, and just like affirmations in general all kind of fall in the same broad category. So I started researching it and it is fascinating. There's subliminal and then I think there's subliminal messaging and one is above consciousness and one is below. Um, it really is interesting. If you want to research that stuff, I definitely recommend you researching it um, because it all falls into psychology and different things like that. But while I was researching this topic, because I was doing some deep research, I wanted to give you guys everything I could find um, because I hadn't really ever used slash even really heard of subliminal messaging. Like I think I briefly did in a Shane Dawson conspiracy theory video or something years back, but I had never like, I always thought it was like few and far between people who actually use slash heard of it. Anyway, um, while I was researching and trying to get everything, I felt like the Holy Spirit whispered to me like, it doesn't matter. Are they putting it before God? And that like shook me for a second because it's one of those things that I had a lot of you guys asking me okay, but can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? Please tell me I can do this. Please tell me I can do this. And I realized that not all, but some of you guys were so desperate to be able to do these things that I wonder if you've made it an idol in your life. Um, this is not me attacking you. I want you to know that. I love you. I have had things become idols in my life. It is something that I think we constantly struggle with in some form, in some way. We all have different struggles. Um, but it makes me sad because I know sometimes we are trying to find and be fulfilled by things that we think will give us joy, things we think will make us happy. Some of you think the way that you'll be happy is growing your hair longer or getting taller or getting prettier. Um, and you say, you know, is subliminal messaging okay? Because I really want to get taller. I really want to grow my hair. And subliminal messaging helps me do that. And one, I don't believe it does. But two, how important is that to you over the gospel? If you are spending all that time in the morning or at night or whatever through your day listening to those subliminals, you could be listening to scripture. You could be listening to the Bible app, reading scripture to you. Um, and you just, I think you need to examine in yourself, who is your God? Who is your God? And what do you think will make you happy? Um, because 
if you are so desperate to figure out like, okay, but is this okay? Cause I can't lose this. Maybe you should lose it even if it is okay. Anything good can be twisted for evil. Money itself is an amoral thing. It is not evil, it is not good, it is just a tool. But the love of money is the root of all evil. The Bible says that. When you love something so much that you put it before God, it's an idol and it's bad. It, whether it's food or whether it is a person or whether it is working out. If you idolize it so much that you put it before God, it is bad and you should stop. So if that's what you're doing, it's not good, no matter what. No matter what research I could tell you of like, these kinds are goods and these are not. Like, no matter what, if it's an idol, it's bad. And you are serving a false idol over God. Um, and just in my personal opinion, I don't think it helps. Like, I don't know how listening to something tell you like get taller get taller you're getting taller as you speak blah 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 one I don't know how that could not be a false idol in your eyes two I don't know how you could not be so obsessed with it over time that your anxiety rises for that to become but I I believe that if you are you know because I had some people also asking me what about affirmations what about like just looking at myself in the mirror because I have trouble feeling beautiful um, and just telling myself like you are beautiful, you are beautiful, and stuff like that. Um, here's where I believe, here's what I want to speak over you guys. Nothing will affirm you more than God's truth. Nothing will fulfill you more than God's truth. Nothing will bring you joy, clarity, and peace, and love more than the truths and promises found in the Word of God. So, I believe that if you speak those truths over yourself, that is the best thing you can do. Let me give you some examples of truths that you can speak over yourself. If you are a child of God, you can speak over yourself, I am loved by God. I am worthy because of Jesus. I am saved. My sin does not control me. I am not chained or enslaved to the darkness of this world. Um, something else because I know people say well I use it to try to like have a good day and tell myself it's gonna be a good day there are verses about that his mercies are new every morning you know and anything that is good anything that is holy anything that is pure and think about such things and keep your mind not on the things of this earth but keep your mind on things above keep your mind on God those things will help you to have a good day because you are reciting the truths of God over yourself. Um, and here is my little, like, my little kind of piece out of this because I'm going to make a whole video about this. Um, we have become obsessed as a society about how we feel about ourselves. Um, we have become obsessed over self-confidence and our own beauty and loving ourselves hear me out if you focus on just loving yourself if you focus on feeling beautiful all the time you will never feel beautiful you will never be confident if you're just focusing on that let me explain why if you instead focus that that you know, part of your day or however much time you devote to feeling that way or trying to help yourself feel that way, if you devote it to thinking of how you can honor God and serve God or serve others, it will just overflow out of you, the confidence that will come to you. It'll overflow how you feel about your beauty because the more you find your worth in Christ, it will just, you will feel worthy. Because without Christ, we don't have worth. I know that's a controversial thing to say nowadays. Without Jesus, we are nothing. Okay? Now, I am not saying that you don't deserve basic human rights and all of that because 100%. But you as a person, your flesh, you will always be bent towards sin without Jesus. Okay? Always. That's how we are. When we have, you know, when there is a piece of pie, two pieces of pie, and you're bringing one to your friend, and you're having one, and you really want the pie, 
your flesh is going to be bent towards wanting to keep the bigger piece for yourself. Even if you choose not to do that, that's what your flesh is bent towards. And that is part, and that was just a silly analogy, but that is why we need a savior. We couldn't save ourselves. And if you're not a Christian, you're not going to agree with any of this. So I don't need your hate comments. Obviously, you're not going to agree with me. Um, but if you're a Christian, you probably already know this. Um, no, you, you weren't perfect without Christ. Because if you were, there would have been no need for him to die on a cross for you. That would have been silly. But we did need him. And we do need him every single day. I promise you. However much time you spend in the morning or whatever it is during the day to your affirmations or your subliminal messaging or whatever it is that you've kind of been doing and questioning if it's okay. Um, devote to praying to God or reading your Bible um, or something along those lines, listening to worship music. Get in His truth. Learn more about it. I guarantee you, if you spend that time every single morning doing those things, over time, very quickly, you will start to love yourself more automatically because you're focusing on loving God and others. It just happens. Have you ever wondered why after you volunteer for something or help someone or something, even if at first you didn't want to do it, after you do it, you feel so good. You feel so happy. You feel so joyful. It's because we were meant to serve others. That's, that's your soul's purpose, is to serve God and others. And I don't think people understand that when that happens, everything else will happen for you. But if you focus on just yourself, you will never be fulfilled. But if you focus on God and others, you will be able to focus on God, others, and yourself in the same breath. Because that's your purpose. Um, and no, I am not saying that you never rest or you never do this or whatever. God calls for us to have a Sabbath day and God calls for that. But we find rest in Him. If you're looking for a solution to your problems, it's Him. If you're looking for, you know, to feel beautiful or to feel more confident or to feel something, the answer is in Him. He made you. He is the creator of the creation. Who knows more about themselves? Or who knows more about the creation? The creation itself or the creator who made it? It's the creator. He literally knit you together. He knows how you work. And so, if you want to be, you know, filling your mind with good things, because I think that's what a lot of people who listen to affirmations or subliminals or something, I, I do feel like that's where your heart is. You're trying to fill your mind with positive things and good things um, to start your day right or to keep you in the right mindset or something like that. That's great. Your heart's in the right place. The most pure form <laughs> of goodness is God's word. I promise. And if at first it's kind of hard to get into, that's okay. Just keep going. Keep going. I promise it gets better. I promise you will embrace who God made you more as you get to know him better. That's how this works. So if you're wondering, is this okay? Is this okay? Is this okay? All right. If you're wondering that, just go to scripture. Just go to scripture. If you want to speak things over yourself every morning, speak scripture over yourself. It says that because you were chosen because he loves you. Like, that's it. He just loves you. So yes, you can tell yourself, God loves me. I am loved because that's where it comes from. Yes, you can tell yourself, I have worth in Christ because you do. Yes, you can tell yourself you are beautiful because in the eyes of God, you are beautiful. But make sure your heart's in the right place. It's not, I am beautiful because my hair looks good today because that's going to fade anyway. That's not going to have a lasting impact on your life. You are beautiful because God made you. That's a, that's a platform that you can stand on. That is a good foundation because that's not going to change. Whether you gain weight, lose weight, whether you have, you know, whether something traumatic happens to your body, whether you get sick, whether you lose your hair, whatever then all those affirmations about I'm beautiful because my hair is like this or this or this, they're going to fade really fast. But if it's I am beautiful because God made me, nothing that can happen on this earth can change that. Nothing. So I am not necessarily going to answer the question, can I do subliminals? Can I do affirmations? I want you to ask yourself in your heart, the amount of time I am devoting to affirmations or subliminals or wanting to change something about myself, am I devoting the exact same amount of time or more to scripture? 
ask yourself that question. Answer that question. Um, start spending more time in your word. And I am very confident that you will be blown away by what God does in your life. I hope this video helped you guys a little bit. Um, I don't ever claim to be perfect or say things in the perfect way, but I hope God kind of, I hope it was his words and not mine, because I know I'm not qualified to be an expert on anything. It's, I just have this platform to point to him. So I love you guys so much. Um, as always, leave your comments below, whether they're good or hateful, I don't really care at this point. Um, and I will be making videos in the future on meditation, what that exactly means, um, and what I meant by it in my Law of Attraction videos, um, and just yoga and all the things. There's so much to unpack in the new age religion that I think defies scripture. So I will see you guys soon, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.